This is Eyewitness News. It's live breaking news. We begin with breaking news at 11 o'clock. California is proving to be a lucky lottery location yet again. A single ticket matching all six numbers in tonight's Powerball drawing. It was sold at a liquor store in Fraser Park. It's a ticket that wins the second largest jackpot in U.S. lottery history, more than $1.7 billion, over 30 payments, or almost $775 million in one lump sum. Of course, you will probably recall the record-setting lottery jackpot of $2 billion last November. It was won by a man from Altadena. Meantime, a ticket worth more than $760,000 was also sold for tonight's drawing, sold at a liquor store in Monterey Park. This is a look at Atlantic Wine and Spirits from Air 7 HD tonight. So, check those tickets. Here are the winning numbers. 22, 24, 40, 52, 64, and the Powerball number is 10. You can also find the numbers at abc7.com. More breaking news tonight. We have just learned talks between the major Hollywood studios and sag after have been suspended. According to a statement from the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers tonight, the group says after meaningful conversations, the gap between the two sides is too great and conversations are no longer moving in a productive direction. sag after members were back on the picket lines today as the two sides met for the second time this week. Workers have been on strike for nearly three months now. The studios say sag after presented few, if any, moves on numerous remaining open items. Sticking points include pay, the use of artificial intelligence, and health benefits. SAG-AFTRA has not commented tonight. Israel at war. Explosions lighting up the sky overnight. Israeli Defense Forces announcing they are launching an extensive attack on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. It's the latest move of retaliation against the terrorist group that launched an unprecedented attack on Israel over the weekend. Tonight, the death toll continues to rise. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand following the latest developments. Jory. Clark, Gaza is beginning to look like those shelled out European cities of World War II. And the comparisons don't end there. What the Hamas terrorists did to civilians, women, children, and babies is reminiscent of what the Nazis did to Jews during the Holocaust. It is gruesome and barbaric and a warning for you tonight. The accounts in this story are difficult to hear. 